Damo, the uh, CEOs finally finished their two-day two day soiree at the Werribee Mansion yeah. today. And fixture seems to be the F word on everyone's lips. It does. What's happening in the future? They, they spitballed a, a lot of scenarios over the past two days. And, and one that has got some resonance, uh, Sam, is this uh, breaking up of the fixture after 17 rounds. So to have every team play each other to start the season and then at that point to break it up into the, the top six, middle six and, and bottom six and to have the top six play off for the, the top six spots, change the order, for the, the middle six teams to play off for seventh and eighth and for the bottom six to, to play amongst themselves and each other and had create some interest within those games in those late season games which we're not getting now with the, the various fixturing there's a possibility that that this is the one that they're going to latch on to and still fine tune and and massage because there are holes in it like there is with a, a, a modeled fixture the AFL has got because there'll be a need for a return matches in the rivalry stakes the showdowns and the the derbies and the the big matches in Melbourne but but that did get some traction some significant traction uh, Sam there's a lot of things that are thrown up and you scratch your head and go how, how how are we at this point, like whether it might be bringing AFLX or bringing this or that, but this is something that's serious. Like to hear what we're about to hear from the Scott brothers about their thoughts on the wild card round and what's important in this game and how money gets put before the fabric of our game and, and what should be right. Um, I think this has, has got as much merit as anything around everyone playing each other yeah. once before you might play mm. West Coast or North twice. Yeah, and it's important to address that what you're about to hear from Chris Scott is, is the talk about the wildcard weekend, yeah. which, as Damo explained, is tied into this 6-6 six, six and 6 format. His twin brother, Brad, who, of course, up until recently was at the AFL, raised some concerns uh, potentially around the integrity of the games going forward, and his brother Chris had his say today. We just have one of the, in elite sport by global standards, one of the most compromised competitions that you can possibly imagine. Play two teams five times, uneven numbers, like, oh, let's just throw in a gather round and, like, you know, compromise the competition even more. If these things are really, really um, important from a fan perspective or from a commercial perspective, they're worthy of thought. Um, I would just ask that the integrity of the competition is given as much thought. I'm in full agreement with Chris Scott and, and what Brad Scott had said previously. I know others have got different views and I, and I get that too, the fanfare around that. But what this 6-6-6 six, six, six arrangement could do it would be to partially bring in this wild card component to the to the unknown and to keep, to keep the competition open in that space. So Jimmy, you're a big thinker about things like this. Brad and Chris have raised concerns around integrity. Yep. Why? Yeah. How, in your view, is the integrity of the fixture compromised with bringing in things like this? Well, uh, I think uh, what Chris was touching on there, we're, it's already compromised as it is because we've got 18 teams in a 24-round competition yep. and we've got teams you get to match up against twice. It's, it's all the devil in the detail because it, let's just take Collingwood, for example. If they clear out and finish four games on top of the ladder, what does it look like for the top six? Are they top six starting at zero again? Where's the benefit of them being so far ahead of the rest of the competition? Mm. Um, how do you do it for the middle six? And then the bottom six again are we playing going to eventually a, a lottery system adding more balls to the lottery system so there's how does the backup rivalry matches yeah, correct. Fit in, yeah. and I, I think you still need to address a, a greater reward for who finishes on top of the ladder because if you're Collingwood and Melbourne at the moment Collingwood could finish five games clear of Melbourne on top of the ladder but where's the benefit yeah look a whole lot of uh, other issues were spoken about as well including the possibility of starting the season in Sydney or, or the one of the rugby league markets most likely Sydney a week before the the official start or the main start to the season. The whole so round or just one game? One game. Round, yeah. One game. Maybe two, but one game. But something um, that, that Hutchie on Monday Hutchie night... Hutchie has been, been banging on about years that. Ahead and, of people and it's that. got some traction today of a significant nature. I'd be surprised if that didn't come in. Also, some acknowledgement too, belatedly, in the eyes of some coaches who feel they've been left behind with what the cutbacks in COVID. The $9.7 million soft cap going down to $6.2 million, gradually working its way up to seven point two million next year by way of a commitment. I'd be surprised if that's not increased even already on the agreed amount to be increased next year. There's, um, there's a real awareness now that coaches have been left behind in, in many facets yep. and, and inclusive of the, the way some of them are treated with severance packages. And with you know, mid-year trade periods and, and wildcard weekends, it seems like the game's hell-bent on making more money for itself, uh, as well, whether we it, like it or not. Yeah, and I was trying to get my head around thinking the excitement and the week off wildcard round, but after listening to the Scott boys, uh, we can't have a wildcard round. Uh, we just cannot do it. To listen to them talk around uh, the, the, the how we do this in the AFL about money and uh, and everything, and to just throw in the tenth team having another opportunity to make it, I think it'd be we'd be a laughing stock. A laughing stock. Matthew Lloyd with a warning shot to the AFL. Don't bring in the wild card weekend.